Gaze upon the son of our dead king. Your Infernison is weak. I, Brenna, am your king now. Go, your Infernison. Find your place elsewhere. For you are no longer welcome among the bears. And understand, Priest. If you dare defy me, if you dare return, you will be killed. for the little stunt I pulled earlier. But you must understand, we simply cannot have an armored bear wandering about the town. Then return my armor, and I shall gladly leave. Uh, uh, you see, we, we'd like to make a deal with you instead. We are willing to return your armor. I don't come down. And I'll not need my armor to deal with the likes of you! You're still moving! But more now! Tranquilize is too weak! Keep shooting him, men! Time for a damn spare! The artillery is here! Well, that's that. Let's clean this mess up. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Oh, hush. Don't pretend you're not excited. You look eager to do some exploring. I can't wait. I mean, unless you need my help first. Not quite yet. I'm going to speak to the Witch's Consul and see if he can offer us any assistance. Do you need me to come with you? I still have a few things to do, but I'll be off to the Consul's house in a little while. Meet me there if you find out anything interesting. And Lyra, keep an eye out for anyone who might be able to aid us on our expedition. This town is bound to be full of adventurers. Not from Trollicent, are you?
No, just passing through. My father is a chapper, and he finally brought me along on one of his trips. Heading out on the ice, are you? Here, take this. It may come in handy. This might come in handy. Those NPC boys must not be having any luck in their explorations. I haven't seen any mineral barges come back since they started. The Magisterium insists on loading and unloading all their cargo at night. It's a bit odd, that. Quite a trip, eh? It's always an adventure out on the seas. I've never been to Trollison. It's always nice seeing a new city or a different part of the world. I'm a fan of the water, don't get me wrong. But I've always wondered what it would be like to fly in a balloon. Lyra, you're supposed to be helping Father Corum. I understand the Magisterium is opening an excellent boarding school in this area. Children from all over are clamoring to be accepted. Dr. Lansalius is a charming gentleman. I've had the pleasure of his company on a handful of occasions. You're an aeronaut, right? Yes, ma'am. Lee Scoresby, at your service. I'm Lyra Blackwell. How much does it cost to hire you? <laughs> Pardon? See, a friend of mine, in fact, a bunch of children, were all kidnapped and taken somewhere, but we don't know exactly where. So I travelled with a big group of Egyptians, and we're trying to save them, and I thought, maybe you could help us. <laughs> well, that sounds like a fine mission you're on. I tell you what, I still need to look in on an old friend of mine. But why don't you come chat with me a bit later? Okay. See you later, Mr. Scoresby. <laughs> and see you later, Miss Lyra.
which to choose. You've been awfully busy asking around into a lot of people's business, haven't you? Everyone in town is so interesting. I couldn't help myself. You're right. I've always thought so too. You never know when it's going to pay off to talk to people. Exactly. Kind of like how I'm talking to you right now. Hmm. You got me there. Okay, well, um, I guess take this then. Perfect. Watch it, kid. Or the gobblers are getcha. Nah, I'm just playing around. No kids from Trollison have been kidnapped. That bear thinks he's so tough. I never seen that witch's console out on the town. Thinks he's too good for us regular folk. Come to Trollisund, they said. See the sights, they said. So I did. And look at me now. Heading to see the witch's consul, are you? Be careful not to lie to him now. Witches can smell a lie. But he's not a witch. Well, maybe they taught him the same way. Watch it, kid. Or the gobblers are getcha. Nah. Go near the Magisterium building if I were you. Why not? I... well... I just... wouldn't! Oh, there's plenty to see in town. Sometimes it's just nice to stop and look around a little. You never know what you might find out. Ah, quite a lovely day, isn't it? Now, there's something not right about that Dr. Lancelius. Spends a bit too much time with them witches, he does. Ineson's doing us all a favor by keeping that bear working so he doesn't terrorize the town. Oh, I wouldn't go... When Which one will work best? Beat it, kid, unless you're buying something. Which you ain't. Oh, I don't know. There's so many interesting things to look at. It might take me all day. Egyptian kids hanging around are bad for business. If I give you this, 
Will you get lost? Probably would have just stolen it anyway. Just what I needed. There's an awful lot to do here in Trollisund, but it's not quite as exciting when you've lived here as long as I have. That NPEC takes a lot of stuff out, but I've never seen them bring anything back in. Not the best way to do business, if you ask me. I would imagine that the Witch's Consul would have a good deal of information for you, if you could get him to share it. The Magisterium is buying all kinds of odd items. Lots of food, bedding, children's clothing, and so forth. I'm not sure what they're doing with it, though. Have you gotten a chance to see the bear in back of Innocents? Their proper name is Panzerbjorn, but we mostly call them armored bears. There's an awful lot to do here. Trollocend is interesting. There are many different types of people who come and mingle here. It is important to live in harmony with others. The witches do that with the help of Dr. Lancelius. Heading farther north, eh? Be wary. Many children from my tribe have been stolen away by a rogue group of Samoyed. They would not hesitate to take a foreigner such as yourself. My people live in small roaming camps. We rarely stay in one place for long. My tribe sends me here to trade. The town is nice, but I prefer being out in nature. Trollocend is... Yes, Dr. Lancelius is the witch's consul here in Trollison. He helps keep the peace between humans and witches. Dr. Lancelius, the witch's consul, he keeps mostly to himself. He's polite enough when he interacts with the rest of us, though. Trollison is growing by leaps and bounds. So much new business in the last few months, and all thanks to the NPEC. You look familiar. Are you one of my daughter's friends? Are you on an errand for your parents? You shouldn't be wandering about by yourself. Yes, Dr. Lance. I ain't gonna tell you my name. It's a secret. I seen that bear, and I ain't scared of him. He mostly just sleeps when he's not working. That witch man can fly. I seen him do it. Well, I didn't see him do it, but I know someone who did. Our kids gotta stick together, you know? Grown-ups just wanna stop us from having fun. My dad said to stay away from the witch man's house. I ain't scared. Where is it? A green one, near the docks. Be careful, he has magics. I ain't gonna tell Lyra, are you trying to get caught? Strange things have been going on in the Magisterium ever since the NPEC came into town. It used to be the hub of the community, but now 
They don't even let anyone inside. Not much time to chat, young lady. I don't want to be out too late tonight. You've got a familiar face. I bet people think they know you all the time. I don't even walk down the street where Dr. Lansalius lives. Something about that house gives me the creeps. Have you been inside the Magisterium building? No, I suppose not. It used to be open to the public, but it's closed now. Strange things have been going... Our decorum. I met an aeronaut. He has a real balloon and everything. Lyra, this is Dr. Lansalius. Hello. Lyra Balacqua. I've heard so much about you. You have? Our decorum, let's not waste the young lady's time by beating around the bush. You have something you wish to ask me? Indeed, then, I'll ask bluntly. Do you have any information regarding an organization capturing children and bringing them north? Now, before I continue, please understand that only your relationship with Serafina Piccola affords you access to this knowledge. Understood. And of course, this information did not come from me. Of course. There is an organization, the Northern Progress Exploration Company, which is actually a front for the General Oblation Board. They pretend to search for minerals, but instead, they import children. I do not know where they take them, however. Are there any children here now? No. The last group left by Sledge the day before yesterday. I see. Thank you for your time, sir. Before you go, may I ask a question? Of course. I understand that you are in possession of an alethiometer. 
How did he know? Yes. Would you like to look at it? I should like that very much. How exquisite. I would recommend that no one else in town see you in possession of that item. And do you have the books of reading? Unfortunately, no. I can read it without them. Is that so? May I see? What do you want me to ask it? What are the intentions of the Tartars with regards to Kamchatka? I understand now. It says they're going to pretend to attack, but they're not really going to, since it's too far away and they'd be stretched out. Interesting. Thank you. May I ask for one more demonstration? Of course. Outside there are a number of bows. Can you find the one that was used by Serafina Pecala? Sure. I bet I can. Get out another one. Do you know who this child is? I'm not sure what you mean. The witches have a prophecy about the chosen one. A girl who will save the world and all of us in it. And you think that refers to Lyra? I do indeed. But part of the prophecy dictates that she must fulfill this destiny in ignorance of what she is doing. Because only in her ignorance can we be saved. Do you understand that, Father Coram? No. I am unable to say that I do. What it means is she must be free to make mistakes. We must hope she does not. But it is not our duty to guide her. I think this is the one. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Before I take my leave, Dr. Lancelius, is there any other advice you might give to me? Well, to say that if I were to mount an expedition against the child thieves, I would attempt to enlist the services of an armored bear. 
I heard the Panzerbjorn were hired by the General Oblation Board. They were. But there is a renegade that may be found behind Einison's bar in the evenings. I would imagine his services to be invaluable. I will speak to him. Thank you for everything. Of course. A pleasure, Father Corum. And a privilege to meet you, Lyra. Nice to meet you too, Dr. Lancelius. Come now, Lyra. We should speak with this armored bear. Do you know who made the alethiometer? Supposedly it was a scholar in the city of Prague. He was trying to invent an astrological device, but clearly he created something far more useful. I've heard there are still a handful in existence, but this is the first one I've ever seen. Why do you work for the witches? That's a long story, something I'd not want to bore you with. Suffice to say that I feel honored to be in this position. Anyone would. You're quite the curious little girl, aren't you? Well, not too much. I mean, I just wanted to learn about the witches is all. No, no, it's not bad. It's good for a young lady to understand the world around her. You can never learn too much, Lyra. Remember that. Lyra, as much as I would love to chat more, I have a number of issues I must attend to. Okay, Dr. Lansalius. Thanks for all your help. Uh-oh. I'd recognize that buzzing anywhere. Bernison, may I speak to you? We want to offer you employment. I am employed by the townspeople. What kind of work is that for a panzer Bjorn? Eric Bernison, why are you wasting your time here? I stay because the people of this town gave me spirits. Then they took my armor away. War is the sea I swim in. Without my armor, I am nothing. A bear's armor is his soul, as your demon is your soul. It must have been terrible to lose your armor. It was no less than I deserved. I fought another bear in single combat and was defeated. Shame. I would have rested a little easier at night with him in tow. What do you mean? The townspeople won't be too keen on returning his armor, and certainly not on our account. Eh, no matter. We'll make do. I'll meet you back at the ship, young lady. We need to help him find his armor, Pan. Ask the alethiometer.
that makes sense. Ewick Bernison? Yes? I know where your armour is. And I thought, maybe if I told you where it was, you could get it back and then join us. The word of a human means little to me. If you really know where my armor is, bring me a piece of it as proof. And then you'll come with us? You have my word. Arneson's doing us all a fun. Another spy fly. We better duck out of sight. Strange things have been going on in the Magisterium ever since the NPEC came into town. I ain't gonna tell you nothing, not unless you think you can beat me in a race. I could beat you any day. Let's try it out then. Wait, is he allowed to do that? Run! Believe I got beat by a girl. I ain't no regular girl. I'm from London. So mind your lip and tell me if you know how to get into the Magisterium building. Of course I do. I ain't about to tell you. That's a shame, because I'd have told you a secret in exchange for you telling me. Hmm, okay, but you better be good. You go first. One of the bows on the shed near the witch's console lets you fly if you use it right. I can't tell you which one, though. You have to try them for yourself. That's a pretty good one. So I'll tell you. There's a secret entrance to the Magisterium through the back of the building. Back of the building, huh? It's really hard to get there. Most kids can't do it, but most kids can't beat me in a race, neither. So what's the trick? It ain't easy. You have to start at the docks and cross over the water, then through an alley and over the back fence. Easy? No way. You gotta make sure you don't fall in the water and you need good balance and you have to watch out for the guards. It's pretty dangerous. You sure you wanna go back there? Yep. I ain't scared. Alright, good luck then. So, 
Time for a nice cup of tea, right? You bet. Right after we get Yurik's armor out of the Magisterium. One of these might come in handy. Excuse me. Why is no one allowed inside the Magisterium building anymore? Why would you want to go in there? My uncle is one of their researchers on experimental theology. It's his birthday and I wanted to surprise him. Aren't you a thoughtful little girl? As nice as that is, I'd stay away from that building if I were you. But I've seen plenty of kids go in there before. I've heard about that, but I don't think you want to end up like those kids. In fact, the basement of the Magisterium is about the last place you'd want to be. Here, take this and forget messing about over there. Thank you very much. I heard you were showing a bit of interest in that armored bear. Uick Bernison is an old friend of my grandfather. He owes our family a debt. I can't think of a better companion to have on any expedition you're planning. And if you get a chance... Ask him about all those prisoners the bears are guarding up north. That looks useful. Look familiar. 